Welcome back everybody. Today I'm pretty excited because I'm going to be bringing you a video of four different ways to get a passable jazz style lead tone. Before we get cracking, if you're new to the channel, feel free to hit subscribe. I'm going to be making new videos just like this one on a regular basis. Okay, let's start out by identifying some benchmarks for a classic jazz guitar lead tone. Now this is purely subjective, but I really like the sound of players like Kenny Burrell and Wes Montgomery. And those guys typically used large hollow bodied jazz guitars. These were often fitted with heavier gauge strings, which were sometimes flat wound. And the neck pickup was often selected. And this provided a big full bodied tone, which emulated the sound of horn players and also was very flattering to fast alternate picking. Now, not everyone's lucky enough to have a dedicated jazz guitar setup. So I thought it would be worth running through a few different ways you could get it with your own setup. Now, first up, I've got my Gibson ES335. This is probably the closest thing to a big jazz guitar. It's semi-hollow, not fully hollow. And I haven't got it specifically set up for jazz. This will work for blues and rock and fusion as well. I've selected the neck pickup, and I reckon that's the first thing to stick on our list of key points for good starting places when seeking that jazz style tone. I've also rolled off a little bit on the tone control and that's probably point number two on our list of things that we can try when trying to get that jazz tone going. I'm just going to play the melody from Affirmation by George Benson on each of the guitars and that will hopefully make it easy for you to compare each of the tones. I'm also plugging into the same patch on Amplitude which is the Roland Jazz Chorus Amp and I'm going to be using the same input gain setting so that you can compare each of the guitars as we go. Anyway, enough of my yakking. Here is the sound of the ES-335 in action. As I recorded, I tweaked the settings to taste. So I turned the tone knob down to about seven and I also rolled a little bit of the volume control off. Now I find that rolling the volume control off also has the effect of reducing the treble frequencies and can fill out the sound. I also tweaked the amp settings and I boosted the bass and reduced a bit of the treble. Okay, next up I'm going to use a solid body guitar with a humbucking pickup. Now this is a Les Paul style guitar made by Tokai. I've got the neck pickup selection again and I'm going to experiment with the controls but I'm starting off with them set the same as I did with the 335. Okay, I really like the sound of this option and I got the sound I wanted with relatively little faff. Just turn the tone control down a touch. I don't really like that mega muffled jazz tone. I do like a little bit of brightness in there. Again, referencing Kenny Burrell, Wes Montgomery and George Benson, they always had a little bit of bright top on their sounds. Also, I've got this guitar set up for rock and blues, so it's got slightly lighter strings, gauge 10, and I found those gave me a little less resistance, so I needed to be a little bit more controlled with my fretting hand. Didn't want to add too much crazy vibrato to keep it in keeping with the jazz style. I also find that the heavy gauge strings provide a nice bit of resistance when picking, and without that resistance, it just makes the picking a little bit trickier to get precise. Okay, next up, I'm gonna go for a solid body guitar with a bolt on neck, Stratocaster style with single core pickups. Now I reckon most people have got one of these or something similar in their armory. And one little trick I've got up my sleeve with my Tyler guitar is I've got a mid boost circuit. Now this boosts the tone up a little bit and helps to add some of the fullness. Now, if you haven't got a mid boost circuit, you can use something like a clean booster pedal or maybe even a tube screamer with the drive turned right down and that'll add some fullness. Again, the neck pickup is selected and I'm going to experiment with rolling the tone off a touch. Okay, the mid boost circuit makes all the difference. That note had a nice big fat feel to it. I found I didn't need to roll too much tone off, otherwise I got into that muffled zone. 
and also blended in that mid boost circuit i've got a blender volume pot there and i could just turn up the amount of mid boost if i put too much in i found it started to distort the sound and again made things a little bit too muffled another thing you can experiment with on a stratocaster style guitar is selecting the neck and middle pickups together and that gives a sort of pseudo humbucking sound and then a little bit of tone rolled off will again help give that sort of full jazz sound. Again, to reiterate, I reckon it's well worth experimenting with boosting the signal of single coil pickups, either with a clean booster pedal or with a mid booster circuit if you have one. The final one I'm excited to share with you is the use of a digital modeling guitar. I've got the James Tyler Variax, and this has got a model of the ES175, which is the same as Kenny Burrell used. Again, the neck pickup is selected, I've rolled off a little bit of tone, so let's see how this one sounds. Okay, I really like the sound and feel of the jazz guitar model in the Variax. Now I know many of you won't have access to a modeling guitar, but I thought I'd share this with you as a viable route to get in a jazz style tone. I find it super convenient to have everything in one guitar. I can flick from going to a Telecaster straight into that jazz style sound. And I find this really useful when I'm having to move quickly between sounds on a gig or a show. To finish up, I thought I'd do a collage of all four guitars playing one after another so you can really compare the sound of each option. Okay, that's it for this video on four ways to get a jazz lead style tone. Now, obviously this is purely subjective and all of the key points I've given you are just good starting points for you to experiment with and then sculpt the sound the way you like to hear it. I'll just quickly run you through the settings that I find are solid starting points. So number one, select the neck pickup. Number two, roll a little bit of the tone off. Number three, experiment with rolling a little bit of the volume control off. Number four, experiment with using some sort of clean booster pedal. And number five, you can experiment with the tone knobs on your amplifier. I generally find boosting the bass and mids really helps, and you can also experiment with reducing the treble. You might also want to add a little bit of reverb or maybe a little bit of fast slapback delay just to thicken up the sound. It'd be great to hear which option you most like the sound of, so leave that in the comments below. You can also share with us any of your preferred methods for creating a jazz style lead guitar sound. Also, feel free to hit that subscribe button. It just means you'll get notified as soon as I upload future videos. As ever, my name's been John Bishop, and I'll see you next time.